It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hi guys, Tyler here. Now before I start this video, I first want to state that I don't really care what kind of sexual orientation that a person has. A person can be gay, a person can be bisexual, a person can be transgender, I don't really care. Basically, my general policy for people is that if a person is not a dick, don't act like a dick. And essentially, that's my general stance in life. Just don't be a dick. And of course, that's my philosophy for everything, really. But like, basically what happened in Boston was that there was a straight pride parade. And honestly, I personally thought that the straight pride parade was really cringy. Mostly because it's stupid to, you know, have a pride parade based upon being straight. However, in a general sense, I want to say that any kind of pride parade that is actually released to the world is very stupid. And the main reason why I think that no matter pride parade, whether it's straight or gay, I think they're all stupid and rubbish. They're all rubbish because essentially there's nothing to be proud about by being born a certain way. There really isn't. Like basically, like the majority of the world population is born straight, right? And so, essentially, like, I think, like, diversity is, like, you know, really cool. Like, I don't expect people to have the same exact opinions like me. I don't expect people to have the same exact sexual orientation like me. And so, I think that diversity is actually pretty great in terms of, like, what people have. At the same time, though, like, essentially, you cannot control if you're straight or gay or bisexual or transgender. Essentially, that's something that you're born with. And so, essentially, what, Peter, what people should actually, you know, care about is actually the personality of a person and that, you know, their genitals, the race, the sexual orientation, the gender, all of that stuff is irrelevant unless a person, you know, is actually, you know, <laughs> a dick. If that person's a dick, they're a dick, regardless of their gender or their sexual orientation. Essentially, I believe that people should treat people as equals. Another thing I want to add is that I don't understand why so many gay couples bring their kids to their pride parades. Like, obviously, I'm not against the idea of teaching kids that there are various different orientations, because basically I think it's important to teach kids about the facts about life. And there was a cartoon just the other day I watched for, Mar for Rockwell's Modern Life, and essentially that cartoon was really respectful to the subject about change and acceptance, and so I have no issue about teaching kids about various different orientations when they're much older. However, I don't understand why there are so many gay couples who bring their kids to these pride parades, essentially exposing to a lot of these sexual images. Like, I understand, like, basically kids someday do grow up and do experience, like, sexual acts and have some sort of form to express themselves. But a lot of this stuff is not appropriate for people who are like five years old, six years old, seven years old, or eight years old. Like sometimes in these pride parade, like you see images of these kids taking part of it. And there are like some people who are like half naked or just dancing inappropriately. Or sometimes they have like those little dick lollipops in their mouth. And like I don't understand why those kind of people want to bring like their kids to this kind of stuff. Because clearly, those gay pride parades are not meant for, like, younger people. They're meant for much more adults, much more 18-plus audience when you go there. Look, I understand that the idea of these gay pride parades actually started with the fact that our country discriminated against gay people. Essentially, what happened was that people would actually, you know, could not come out the closet, People were actually really hostile towards gay people. There was no gay marriage. Essentially, it came out out of response to those kind of stuff. However, in today's age, there's nothing to prevent gay people getting married. There's like nothing to prevent gay people from adopting kids. Essentially, the gay people of today in the United States have it so much good and like compared to like the Middle East and other places. Like, for the Middle East, I understand why there should be gay pride parades for the Middle East. Because essentially, the Middle East, there's, like, no rights for gay people. And so, pray, like, those pride parades makes much more sense in those kind of places. But, like, in this day and age, people have these pride parades not because of, like, some sort of legit rights issues, but because they want to show off just how gay they are with their gay lollipops and their 
dicks in their mouth and stuff. Like, essentially, like, <laughs> I guess whatever kind of original message that was in the beginning for these kind of stuff is now gone. Essentially, these people are just out there just to sexualize themselves, to show the world just how gay they are. Like, for the case of the straight pride parade stuff, like, there is no instance I could possibly think of right now where a person was persecuted for the fact that they were straight. Like, I cannot possibly imagine, like, any sort of historical record of a person being oppressed because they were straight, coming out the closet because they were straight, or being persecuted in the Middle East, getting, like, their heads cut off because they were straight. Like, it's, that doesn't really happen. Like, it's just so strange. But, like, people in the West have it so good. Like, you're, we're really lucky to live in the West because there's, like, no rights in other places. Like, it's crazy to think that people actually have those kind of conditions in other places. But whether it's, like, the gay pride or the straight pride, just people should not be proud of their orientations. What people should be proud about is essentially their achievement in life. Like essentially, if you do good in the world, you should actually be proud about the stuff that you do in your world. And also like you need to be proud about like what you're doing to actually achieve, to actually become successful. That kind of stuff is way more important. Like their sexual orientation does not make you. Like essentially what makes you you is actually your actions and what you do. Not your orientation, not your sexuality, not your genitalia, just essentially what makes you you is actually what you do and not those kind of stuff. But what do you guys think? Tell me in the comment section down below, and I'll talk to you guys next time. <laughs>